all you need to know about CSEAT. I am Company Secretary Alok from excelacademy.com and I'll be telling you in this video everything you should know about CSEAT. That is our Company Secretary Executive Entrance Test. So Company Secretary Executive Entrance Test is going to be mandatory from now on that is from 3rd February 2020 and this exam is implemented from 3rd February 2020 and this applies to new students only not if you are already registered. So if you are existing student don't worry. Why has ICSI introduced this? This is the first question. Simply to improve the quality of students entering CS executive. See right now if you are already a student there is nothing to worry. But the problem was that many students used to come to executive after BCom, after MCom, after BBA, after BBM. They were not having the basic quality to do well in the exam. That is why ICSI has told that to make the foundation and basic concepts of student very strong let us in introduce CSEET and that will improve the quality of students. So this will help both ICSI and the students. Students don't have to struggle in executive now. They will already have a very good firm understanding in CSEET and then they can enter the executive. So again I am telling you if you are already a CS student as on date of 3rd February 2020 then CS EET does not apply to you. Please do not worry. If you already are CS foundation or CS executive or CS professional student just chill. Just relax. This law will not apply to you. Only for anyone who is new who is registered with ICSI from 3rd February 2020 onwards this new CSEET is applicable. So if you are already a student, please don't worry. Please study well and pass CS Executive and CS Professional or CS Foundation. So even if you are in Foundation, this new rule will not apply to you. If you already registered Foundation, you have not yet written an exam, still this rule will not apply to you. Only for new registrations, only for new registrations this rule is going to apply. So. This is a prospective rule, not a retrospective rule. That means it does not apply from previous date, from the date of notification, that is 3rd February 2020. So please don't worry. So CS Foundation, Executive and Professional Existing Students, you just don't have to worry. So CS EET, that is CS Executive Entrance Test, applies only, 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 I'm telling 100 times, only to students joining company secretary course from 3rd February 2020 onwards. Uske baad, not before that, only after this, this rule will apply to you. So 3rd February, the official gazette has this new amendment regulations of 2020 and from this date, the rules will be applicable. So existing students, don't worry. So if you are a new student, let us say you are in 11th standard, you are in 12th standard, now you are doing degree, you are in 3rd year degree, 2nd year degree. If you want to take CS, then you must come under CSEET which is very good for you. It is very good for you and you will get very good foundation concepts and basic concepts about the course. So changes in student registration and the examination enrollment is there. So new admissions to the foundation program will be discontinued. New admission, please don't get confused. If you are an existing foundation student, you are valid. You are valid, there is no problem for you. But the new student cannot enter foundation, they have to enter CS executive. So existing foundation students, executive have nothing to worry. They can continue to write CS foundation or executive as applicable. You please study well and you can also take help from Excel Academy. We also have video classes, online classes and you pass the exam. Don't worry about CSEET. Now CSEET will be only route to enter CS course for anybody from now on. So the student may be degree, master degree, yes, whatever it is, they may be plus two. So from now on, just like how you have to take CAT exam to enter the IIM, correct? You have to take CLAT exam to enter the law school, like for LLB. How you have to take NEET exam for medicine, correct? How you have to take JEE exam and all that if you want to do engineering. So all this will be mainly because of the CSEET. So if you want to enter CS, you want to become company secretary, 
from now on you have to enter in this new role so if you are existing student tell your friends if they want to do cs they should come in ca cet which is very very good existing students can continue and this is very important ca and cma final pass students can enter cs executive without eet so the only people who can go directly to cs uh, course that is executive is if you are final pass if you are final you are for a ca final pass cma final pass then you can enter the cs executive without eet exam by paying 5000 rupees so 5000 rupees you have to pay if you want to enter the cs executive but you should have passed ca and cma now the new fees for cs executive will be 10600 with the cs magazine and 10100 without the magazine this is important for us to know so the first cs eet exam is may 2020 so we have very less time so any new students can take this exam if your second pc pass most important is they should have passed the 12th standard 10th standard 11th standard 12th standard so in some states it's called pre university college so wherever it is 10 plus 2 what is the eligibility 10 plus 2 so every year may july november january so four time slots are there any time you can take this is also very good it gives flexibility and freedom for students to take exam whenever they want and that is the best advantage what are the subjects what are the subjects business communication that is the first subject legal aptitude logical reasoning second subject all your contract act same thing will be there which we have which was there in old foundation economics and business environment that is also there in old foundation new one current affairs that is the general knowledge presentation and communication skill so all this is very easy very basic of course you need coaching and help and training and mentorship to do it but it is not like a math see you don't have accounts here so that is one uh, good thing for students you don't have accounts so they are trying to test your basics so basically they are telling no more foundation you pass the cs executive entrance test then you come to Uh, the cs executive there you'll have accounts but in the entrance test you don't have so it is basically to give a brief understanding about the entire business environment communication and that is what is required in the profession see if the institute has added this subject that means the uh, market is asking this the companies are telling company secretary communication is not good their logical reasoning is not good so that is why they have added these subjects so exam format of the cs eet it will be online computer based exam so completely online there is no uh, offline it will be computer based exam of course they have not told whether you can take the exam from home or you have to go to the center so they will tell the details over there mostly you have to go to a center designated center and you can take this exam some format will be there like that so cs eet will be an online exam so what will you have mcq audio clip video clip descriptive question so everything together this exam will be there you have to take this exam and just like the other cs exams you have to get minimum 40 marks in every paper and aggregate of 50 marks to pass the exam and this exam is for 2 uh, hours 15 minutes that is 135 minutes you have 135 minutes for this exam that is 120 minutes for the mcq test and 15 minutes for the viva so it is around 2 hours 15 minutes for the entire test and the best part biggest news no negative marking there is going to be no negative marking in the cs eet that is going to give lot of confidence for students to write every uh, question so this is very good news no negative marking and this will ensure that more students are going to pass provisional registration to the executive program will be discontinued from now cs eet is the only road see before what used to happen if you are in 6th semester of uh, degree you could register for cs uh, executive uh, as a uh, provisional registration but now you have to go through cs eet itself this is very very necessary so this is a really wonderful move by icsi and there is no negative marking so please don't worry we are there to help you and the existing students don't worry you, you this doesn't apply to you cs eet you don't have anything to do don't worry but for new students that is anyone who is joining the course 
you have to write CSEET. You have all the subjects like communication, general knowledge, logical reasoning, legal aptitude. All this will be there so that you become a very good CS professional. And this EET, I'm telling you, is going to change the quality of the professionals. So now we are going to have only one entry route. Anybody from now want to do company secretary course, they have to come through CS EET only. There is no other way. That is very, very good. So that is very good for the awareness building of the profession also. This will really help. So if you have any doubts about CS EET, please let me know. I'll be very happy to help you. In the comments below, you can let me know. And also, you have all the details about Excel Academy in the description box. So in the description box, uh, we have given you our social media platforms, our website, our Android app, any help you want for CS EET, CS Executive, CS Professional, we are going to help you because Excel Academy is the one-stop solution for CS course. So please take our help. Anything you want, I'm very happy to help you. And this will make sure that you become a company secretary. So I have told you every detail about the CSEET. This is a very, very good move. So all you need to know about this is in the video. Please share this video for anyone who wants to know about this exam.